Yes, family, blessed love, give thanks for your presence with us. We glorify the life giver and the keep of life, Emperor Haile Selassie the first. Give thanks for Empress Menin, father and mother of creation. Give thanks for your presence with us even on a wonderful evening as is now. Honorable Priest Isaac, your humble servant here with you. Honorable Empress Naya with us as well as we will be continuing the series of programs that we have been doing leading up to the natural childbirthing workshop that will be held on the 9th of May. And of course, our certified um, professional doula is with us, again, the Honorable Empress Naya, and she will be giving us some more information on exactly what we will be looking into and getting into on Monday, the 9th of May. So as I said, the Honorable Empress is a certified uh, professional international wellness doula. She's many, many, many other things, but this is what we are focusing on this evening. And of course, no stranger by now to the, the followers of the Precise Institute of Holistic Knowledge. And of course, you know, she specifically um, hosts the radio program, Redemption Healing, which comes on every um, um, Wednesday at 10 a.m. Eastern Caribbean time. So I would like to say blessed love, Honorable Empress, give thanks for your presence again. Blessed love. We all is well. I know you have a lot to share. You know, we have been getting some good um, feedback from the previous um, the previous encounter that we had as it relates to the, you know, you went more into a lot of spiritual aspect of the whole aspect of giving birth naturally. But I know you have another level to touch this evening. Um, I know we are going into if it's a natural birth, we're going into what you could consider the unnatural birth. As I was saying earlier, you know, like a person like myself, I'm not one of those who was born at the kitchen table, you know. I was born in the hospital. You know, this is a place where people die and just the whole encounter is so dread, you know. We were speaking earlier that myself and yourself, where you were highlighting to me that even in, in the, the medical world today, young sisters are actually signing up to literally have a C-section. It's not a case as if, well, you know, the baby's having problems getting out and they resort to that, which they don't have to do that even in that case. But now we are lining up to get it done. So so, so we, we, we're showing you the flip side of what you will be teaching, how it can be done naturally in so many different forms from the physical to the spiritual. So what I'm going to do, Honorable, I'm going to allow you to share your screen. I know you have a lot to partake um, to the royal family and, and royal family. This is just a touch of what you would be getting on um, Monday the night. Yes, you have permission to share your screen. Monday the night specifically. Um, and we're talking about the 9th of May and it is the child, natural child birthing workshop. And of course, that will be presented again by the Honorable Empress Naya. Mm -hmm. you, you get through with the sharing? Yes, I'm working on it now. Oh, okay, That's just different. making sure, no problem there. So family, make sure that you, you know, get your reserve your spot. Remember tomorrow, you know, the 2nd of May, this was recorded on the 1st, premiered on the 1st. So tomorrow, the 2nd of May is actually what they call the deadline, but we, nobody's going to die here. It's a lifeline, but that's the ceiling update for you to get the $15, you know, um, $15 off of your, from your, um, your purchase for your space. Remember, the whole thing will be virtual. It's a workshop family, a workshop. It um, um, begins at 8 p.m. Eastern Caribbean, Eastern Standard Time. And remember, you'll be given a certification or certificate, pardon me, of attendance afterwards. But anyway, give thanks. Honorable Empress, please, the floor is yours. All right, let me make sure that I'm off mute. Okay, I'm off mute. Yes, yes. Uh, 
Yeah, bless it, love, give thanks. And we are going to, so yeah, you were recapping that the last conversation that we had, we spoke about more so the spiritual, um, the spiritual aspects to being, you know, in uh, the capacity, from teaching from my capacity as a doula, like how we're trained to be intuitive towards pregnancy and um, the emotional, the, the mental. Um, but today we're going to just do a little glimpse here or uh, uh, touch a couple of points as it relates to the medical aspect, just having the awareness of, you know, what are some of the pr procedures like when you're going into um, a hospital setting? Because there's multiple places in which you can birth. Um, you can birth at home, you can birth if you want to do a water birth, um, you can birth in the ocean, it just depends on where you choose, um, where you where where you choose to give birth or where your your um your body chooses to give birth, your baby itself. Um so in the um medical practice, they have um at they have like um uh, tactics for um, disrupting the natural flow of labor, delivery, um, pregnancy. It's just they have their tactics all throughout the different stages of uh, birth, right? So we're going to talk about the labor stage, which is also uh, the delivery part, because shortly when you're in labor, like maybe shortly after soon or you know, delivery comes. So we have it here, forceps and childbirths. So the, um, the medical, uh, I guess, the medical book record of forceps uh, delivery is, it is a type of um, assisted uh, vaginal delivery. Well, and let me just so come in here. Um, pardon me, sorry to interrupt, but you are, you actually sharing one of your your certificates. I don't know if uh, you know oh. that. Yes, you're actually sharing your Birthwell International LLC, probably affirms um, um, Naya Rene Aimani um, has successfully. Oh. Yeah, that's what's, that's what, well, that's oh, okay. good stuff there, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. So it clarifies who you are as it relates to this. And as I said before, you are certified in many different uh, fields, but you can continue. So that, that's what you're sharing. So uh, oh, okay. Okay. I, think, I think you know how to, sh to change the sharing aspect, isn't it? You yeah, yeah. So okay. I think, I think um, okay. that was a, actually okay. I wanted to start off by highlighting and I just got into the conversation, but okay. um, yeah. So, so what, what you have here is, um, forceps in childbirth that's what you're speaking of yes okay yes i'm seeing uh, like a, so yeah a searching page there okay good all right so we're ba we're, we're, we're back on to topic yes thank you for that the um uh forceps delivery uh is uh, as it ex it is explained here um, it's a, a type of assisted vaginal uh, delivery, and it is sometimes needed in the course of vaginal childbirth. So I can't really explain all the reasons why that they would use this, uh, this method, yes. um, because there is no really clinical diagnosis that I believe is even like considered for it this is the this uh, around this time if you're in a uh if you're if if you're in a child uh and if you're in a hospital setting right and this yes. is why we're creating the workshop so there can be uh an awareness so that we can actually you know not put ourselves in positions where we really don't have you know, too much say so of what's going on. And especially if you're a female, you can't really do too much, you know, oh. when you're in labor, you're just, you're, 
you, you can't you, you really cannot get up off the you know the hospital bed and say hey you know let's not do this you know <laughs> because we're laying down so um with uh this particular tactic it's used during the time where the baby is um, engaged and it's descending from the uh, the uterus um, into the birth canal um, and out of the uh, out of the birth canal out of the the yoni and it's in you know in into you know life you know the earth um, so they use these four steps here to um, assist in the baby coming out. So let's just say if the baby just decides to um, take a little one minute pause, right? Hmm. Uh, and uh, the one minute in, I guess in, because the in adrenaline is up, like everyone is really, it's an energy now that hmm. that is taken over the room. You know, so everyone, one minute may not seem like a lot right now, but when they're in the moment, like they're, you know, and, the, and they're not being patient, you know, because that's what this is about. It's about being present, you know, when you're present and when you're one with something, uh, you can be more, you can find more patience with it. So um, in their reality, they'll use these, these tools, forceps to like. I give me, I give me the, I give me the shivers there, Mm hmm. So, yes. Yeah, because you can see you can see it there, how it can be injurious to the the newborn, you know, the sensitivity of the skin um, or even injurious to the womb. So this is just this is what they do, you know, and we are um, informed, you know, in terms of, you know, in the workshop, we we are informed better of you know, why this is unnecessary. So this is unnecessary because you know that when you are, uh, you know, when you're in labor, you know, and this is just coming from my expertise as the professional. Um, I haven't quite made it there yet, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't suggest being in this position without any level of written information that I don't want this to be happening at all, or um, that, you know, this is a, this is a, a, a tactic, this is a, a, a tool in which they will uh, use to, you know, speed up the process. So um, forceps are there, and then we have what is known as the epidural shot which a lot of people um, are familiar with but it's not a left enough conversations as it relates to the long-term effects of what an epidural can do or what an epidural is what's what's in the ingredients right so we'll talk about you know uh, the medical perspective um, as it relates to to have awareness of what's going on, because you know this is just reality, and then we'll also talk about the the natural um, uh, the natural way of being more at ease and at, at present, and and to trust yourself, and not to put too much trust in you know the uh, what's what's the external, you know what's what's outside of you you know, and to just trust yourself more and to trust your baby to have that bond and that union within your womb, you know, is, is very powerful. So, um, yeah, yeah. So we're, we'll talk about uh, this and how we can avoid it as well, because I have a suggestion in fact, a tool of what you can use to actually avoid, you know, this level of uh, um, trauma, you know, this level of information. And I feel like, should I say it? Or should I wait and say it? Should I say it now? <laughs> well, well, um, uh, you're well, professional, you know. Well, if I say it now, which is a birth plan, that's what I was gonna say, it's a birth plan. 
birth plans would actually position you better if you choose to give birth within a hospital setting. But that's the thing, the idea of the, the strength and the education around natural childbirth is so that you won't even need to have these, um, you know, to have, you know, with this, this in your radar, you know, because when you're in their facilities, when you're in their space, um, pretty much you, you gotta have an advocate for yourself because if you don't have an advocate for yourself, um, you can be pressured to do things that may not be within, you know, um, may, may not be within your own moral um, reasoning. You know, it may be a bit immoral when you think about it, you know, so. We did a program not too long ago. Uh, I know you would recall that. It uh, aired on radio. I, knew, I can't remember the killer name, but one of these demons, I hope I'm not spoiling your uh, environment here, pardon me. One of these supposed doctors, which is a term that really does mean when you doctor up something, you know, it's, it's, it's you, you kind of fabricate it really. That's what to doctor something really means. And those, those forceps that you were showing is, is the same instruments that this killer would use on the yeah. African woman, you know, uh, and, and, and open her, her vaginal canal and rip it up, you know, it, all in a form of experiment too. And many of these same instruments have come down even today looks nice and shine and pretty now, like if it's something that we're supposed to be happy about, that is supposed to clamp the baby's head eh? and pull that baby out. Instead of, you know, we, we get a regiment and a diet with some raw okra, which will help to lubricate naturally the vaginal canal when the time is right and so many different things. But let me make you um, continue. Yeah. Yeah, I would say that, you know, we're not going to get, we're going to save as much as we can for the presentation because out of all fairness and to really uh, respect the, you know, the works that we are doing within the, um, the realms of uh, consciousness, Rastafari, within the realms of, you know, really healing the nation, we want to most definitely um, perhaps to uh, not get so much into the conversation because I just know that, you know, this is normalized. Trauma, when it goes, when it comes to the womb and trauma, it's a normalized thing, especially as it relates to Western medicine. And as you was talking about it, how it's rooted in um, slavery, you know, it's rooted I mean, it probably has many roots, but most, most, most for sure, it's most definitely rooted in um, American gyne uh, uh, gynecology is uh, rooted within um, the time when our ancestors really had no choice but to really be succumbed to the, um, the abuse, you know, of their um, white slave owners or uh, white masters. So um, I think that it's worth to, um, for women who are seeking to become certified as a doula, to take this course, because with this courses, it's an education uh, uh, course. It's a birth education birth course. Um, now, the natural is what will be emphasized, but this counts as any other uh, childbirth course um, uh, requirement or um, class um, for women who are seeking information um, for their personal studies or for, um, you know, who wants to become a doula um, or for parents who are very just interested in and are aware of what's happening or who aren't aware of what's happening and would like to be enlightened more, you know? So this, this is like 
taking a step in, in investing within ourselves and investing, you know, in, um, you know, our families, you know, so um, this is most definitely going to be a really good course uh, workshop, you know, for people to, to learn. Yeah, but um, I want to ask a question, and, and as you mentioned, the workshop still here. Family, just remember that it's the 9th of May. Um, that is just about seven or eight days away from now. It is going to be 8 p.m. in the evening. It's a Monday evening, 7 p.m. Well, evening, and this is for the international community, but at least the, the time in that we're clocking, 8 p.m. Eastern Caribbean time, which is similar to the Eastern Standard Time as well. And um, so wherever you are in the earth, you know, Japanese time, Chinese time, wherever you are, you could definitely just align yourself and because it's going to be worth the while to make sure that you are aligned with this wonderful workshop. You could already see this is basically a conversation we are having here. Um, but for sure, you're going to need to come with your pen and your pad to make sure you get you know, all the information down precise and, and correct. Um, and remember eh, that tomorrow, which may be today, depending on when you're seeing this video, is the, the final day for you to get your, your space with for $15 off, $35 space. I mean, remember the, 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 the contribution is only $50. And I would say that with an only, only $50. The previous time the Honorable Empress was with us, she told us that, you know, a workshop of such is really, you know, into the hundreds, a hundred plus, um, but this is $50 plus, you'll be getting um, $15 off if you purchase your ticket before the 2nd of May, Monday, the 2nd of May, which technically is already now, so you should really contact us now. Of course, you know what to do is Priest Isaac Institute at gmail.com, Priest Isaac Institute at gmail.com. Visit the website, Priest Isaac Institute.com. But Honorable Empress, what I wanted to say even before you know we seal up or anything, um, I know for sure the workshop, as you said, the, the key term here is natural. So yet still, I know I'm positive, although I'm really peep your script, but I, I know that basically, yeah, you will be given an idea of the the uh, what you would say the the conventional way of doing things like what we are what we just saw there on the screen a moment ago but i know you'll be going more into you know how it should be done the, the right way as you said before conception and uh, during the time of pregnancy i know these are not the exact clinical biological work, uh, phrases but work with me during the time of um pregnancy and after pregnancy as well but as far as you know the the pharmaceutical world give us an idea especially even some of the brothers you know who even though you know they they they, they may have children or whatever sometimes as you said you know the, the woman may find herself in this situation alone so i know sometimes she's bombarded with different drugs and pills and and, and synthetic vitamin, this and that. Uh, give us an idea of, of some le that level of trauma too that the woman goes through, you know, which really most women will, women will go through, whether they're aware of it or not. And give us an idea of these different uh, drugs that they may push on them. And I would like to say that, okay, I would want to most definitely leave the nutritional aspects the natural ways that you can to you can um actually uh do the do the job of what the uh the pharmaceutical drugs that are um recommended as you know to do the job for, yeah to do the job for what is needed you know so for um an example let's start with the the epidural shot you know which is a really uh serious that a lot of um, of women uh, may opt to 
because they are um, feeling a bit overwhelmed um, with the process and maybe not just the process, but the, the energy of what is around them that is informing, you know, how they feel. Um, the epidural shot, it's a, it's a, a big needle <laughs> that um, has a um, anesthesia in it. Um, mm -hmm. And it is to um, numb the, uh, 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 from the pelvic on down. It's just to numb the woman from the pelvic on down. And we, um, we gonna speak about why that is a bit contradictive to the natural way of giving birth. The next in the workshop. So that's why this is a conversation that, you know, it's, it's worth for you to sit and invest and to sit in because it's, um, it's educational. It's done from, you know, um, re it's research based. It's, it's what we um, may not be fully aware um, to uh, the detriments of it. So um, another uh, pharmaceutical thing that uh, I address or I will address is the, the liquid drink that every woman is pretty much required to have at a certain, um, they want it to be consumed at a certain passage or time within the pregnancy um, experience. So I want to say when, um, not in the first trimester, I want to say it's in the second trimester and it's called the vitamin K um, drink. That's what everyone knows it as, it's vitamin K. That's what, they, what, what people consider it. And, and we'll talk about, well, what is it? What's the drink? What is it? And what is it for? You know, and how we can naturally give ourselves the vitamin K that we need if it is something that is a standard um, toward, you know, a pregnant body as it relates to the physical health. You know, so we'll talk about the physical standards as it relates to what are the um, key um, vitamins and minerals that are needed um, to sustain a healthy uh, hormonal balance and um, for healthy energy. So, um, so that's two things. The epidural shot, we'll talk a bit more about that, mm -hmm. although I... Um, and, we'll and a special K drink. Special K drink. Special. Vitamin K. Oh, vitamin K. Oh, my. Oh, Lord. Anyway, <laughs> special K is one of them complex things. So, family, you could obviously see now, uh, and remember, you know, family. So, so, so we're just kind of um, um, touching at different aspects of this. Um, I would say just picking as such. But this is going to be a very comprehensive workshop, basically. Um, I'm looking at the poster. The poster here, these are some of the words that uh, uh, I should have applied earlier. So you have preconception uh, 101. So that's preconception before you, you've conceived, pre, prenatal support and natural pregnancy, natural birthing and spiritual techniques, natural postpartum healing. That's after you have given birth. At home, at home birth in space, live question and answer. So, so you can see that this is definitely going to be a wonderful evening coming with the family also, um, uh, my wonderful people. Remember, this is a workshop. The, the, the space specifically might be limited as well, you know. So remember, this is a, a webinar itself, uh, unless we may have to upgrade the space. But for now, you would have to make sure you uh, get your space as quick as you can get your space you could imagine but remember I see something here at the bottom here plus um, free virtual doula support one one month free virtual doula support um, am, am I correct with that honorable empress yes that's correct okay you can just tell us quickly what that is 
Yes, so that is the uh, virtual birth doula or postpartum doula um, consultations that I will be offering for people who are interested in being supported virtually. Okay, and, and, and you naturally do that as well. So, so to the family outside of the workshop, you could actually uh, get these services directly from Redemption Healing, directly from the Honorable Empress Naya. But we have to remind you as the time is on us, uh, we have a scheduled time with this specific presentation, just reminding you that actually the, the uh, there's a special sale on your uh, contribution tickets for your e-spot as such, and the sale really seals basically tomorrow, Monday the 2nd of May. Get your tickets for only $35, but of course the regular contribution for this wonderful event will be $50 specifically, and I myself am looking forward to it. It is Monday the 9th of May, 8 p.m., and I know it will be a joy. Natural childbirth in education workshop don't forget you know um wh wh whose ever name it is registered under you will be getting a certificate at the end of it a certificate of completing this um yeah. workshop at the end of it and rumble empress any, any sealing words wanna, for you yeah oh yes i was gonna say and it will be a beautiful certificate it will be designed very beautifully hmm. All right. Well, you could add some more to that in your sealing words. Oh, okay. Anything you want to say? Um, well, yeah, I think I think you really pretty much talked about it uh, and sealed it really good enough. Um, yeah, it's going to be a good investment. It's an investment for um, yourself in learning and it will really be a good investment for um, certification purposes. Yes, yes, positive. Well, give thanks to the life giver and the keeper of life. Looking forward to seeing the full family there. Give thanks continually for all those who would have sat through this presentation with us. And it's all about the family, you know, it's about joy, it's about happiness. And this is not something for the ladies alone in a man. This is for the family. Brothers, they got to come out. Even if you don't have a, a sugar dumpling, it's all right. The knowledge is, is, is <laughs> the knowledge okay, me, is, eh, eh. go ahead. Let me also say this, because you just made me remember. Um, that is also for children too. It's for, this is age appropriate um, information. Nothing is going to be derogatory or explicit. It's just, awareness and information. Um, so it's a really good um, way of having a puberty talk as well. You know, if you would want to bring your your older children in. So your 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 older teens or your young adults children, um, if you can get them to come to bring them in so that they can learn it because I think that it's a really good way of psych uh, uh, evolving into womanhood. Um, and into adulthood for for the boys as well, for the princes. Yes, give time. And that, that, and that again, stressing on, as I said, the family, as the Honorable Empress says, you know, as we, sometimes we forget the little ones for real because it's, this is a holistic thing. That is why I was stressing that brothers come in as well. Come in, even if you're a bachelor or whatever, still come in. You know, this is for the future, getting an understanding, because as I said, when when uh, when a family is bringing forward a new life, you may technically say that the woman is the one that is pregnant, but spiritually, the man is directly connected to that youth that he conceived, even more so than the female, just as how she's connected, obviously, uh, blood and sin new and she feeds the youth within her physically. It's obvious you can't deny that. It's the same thing with the connection that the man has with the same child on the spiritual level, whether he be on the moon and the child 
is in the bottom of the sea in some where, wherever there is a natural spiritual connection that the man has with his child something to remember in the very same way that the woman is physically connected with that same child but give thanks honorable empress give thanks to the royal family give thanks for all those who have been with us glorify the life giver the keep of life holy man who lies Rastafari, blessed love, give thanks. Mm -hmm.